to my channel and today I'm gonna be reacting to a brand new trailer that is the Suicide Squad trailer number two. As you guys remember, I reacted to the first trailer, which I don't think it was a trailer itself because it just showed us the impact that James Gunn was gonna, was gonna be having on the Suicide Squad. And as you may guys already know, I'm a huge, huge fan of Harley Quinn. I think Harley is a very, very fun character and I really envy a little bit Mar you know, Margot Robbie's, um, you know, portrayal because she has been an amazing Harley Quinn. Like seriously, she was born to play Harley Quinn as Ryan Reynolds was born to play Deadpool. Like she does an incredible job and I and I think like she's beautiful and everything but also you know she's very talented and she really can you know give all to the character and I truly admire that from you know from a audience perspective and I think we truly saw that on the first Suicide Squad which you know it actually uh, won an Oscar for you know the costume and everything so I think it was a big impact on society and on people. And I remember that I went to Europe um, that year and they were promoting the Suicide Squad on Paris, I think. And I remember, you know, going into the, you know, the train or anything and, uh, you know, seeing a, the Joker, you know, Jared Leto's Joker there. And uh, I was really, really excited. And as you guys already know, I'm a huge fan of Jared. I think he's really talented. But I think he hasn't been given the chance to, you know, to portray the Joker as he should be portraying it. And uh, we saw a little bit of him on, on Justice League. But particularly, I believe I was not a fan of, of his portrayal of the Joker there. I don't know, it was weird, it was a weird Joker portrayal, but um, I wish we could see more of Harley Quinn and the Joker again, uh, but right now I'm going to be reacting to, to the trailer of the Suicide Squad, which is really fun and exciting to me because the first one, I liked it at some point, uh, by the end I thought it was stupid, you know, the character development of the Enchantress was really stupid. And I didn't like the casting, like I don't think that models can always be actresses. Um, and, you know, that that was what happened with the Enchantress, you know. Cara Delevingne, she is a really great model, but I don't think she has actress potential, in my opinion. So now that James Gunn is, you know, you know the, the director of this, and I truly believe you know what he's gonna be doing because he has been the director of Guardians of the Galaxy and if you guys haven't seen Guardians of the Galaxy I don't know what you're doing in this channel because it is a really good movie um, I think he, he has been the director of the three Guardians of the Galaxy uh, he had a little bit of um, um, I could say gossip there uh, that he did what you know back in the day on Twitter about uh, child abuse or something um, but you know I, I don't see that you know he has given an apology and everything and hopefully we will see more of James Gunn and you know with the Suicide Squad but to be honest I am very 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 excited to see more characters you know interact with Harley Quinn and also we were gonna we're gonna see Rick Flag, uh, Captain Boomerang again so you know, it's exciting to see more characters, but also the other characters that were inside the Suicide Squad. I wonder why, um, you know, James Gunn decided to keep them. Uh, I know that Viola Davis, of course, is going to be, you know, Waller, uh, which is amazing. But um, I, I wonder, I wonder what his plan is with the Suicide Squad. But OK, I, I've been talking a little bit. A, a lot I think about this but hope hope you guys like this and um, and yeah you guys there's a lot of things I want to say but I'm gonna keep quiet just because a lot of you don't like me don't like that I talk a lot before the trailers but 
there's a lot of things I want to say, so um, I will say it after the trailer. So thank you guys, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Click the notification bell below for you to have notifications whenever I upload, and I will see you on the trailer. Let's go! You gotta be kidding me. You're gonna risk the entire mission for a mental defective dress as a court jester. This is coming from a guy that wears a toilet seat on his head. We don't leave one of our own behind. Oh, like I'm liking line. this. No funny business, Colonel. These are dangerous people. Team 2 is clear to go. Fire. Three, Three, two. What are you guys doing? Cuba? What? You. We're, we're here to save you. You were gonna save me? It was a really good plan, too. Well, I can go back inside and you can still do it. That's good, <laughs> Roger. I'm so sorry. Harley Quinn. Blood school. Oh my god. Hardly. You know the deal? Successfully complete the mission, you get 10 years off your sentence. Oh, he's amazing. Oh god, what is that? You fail to follow my orders in any way. And I detonate the explosive device in the base of your skull. can do the job. So this is the famous suicide squad. Ooh, what is that? Okay, Pete. Nom nom. <gasps> oh! Any questions? Ah. Yes, that is your hand. Very good. We're all gonna die. I hope so. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Here's the deal. We failed the mission. You die. If we find out any information you give us is false, you die. If we find out you have personalized license plates, you die. What? No. If you cough without covering your mouth. Harley, although that isn't an open invitation for you to cough without covering your mouth. Okay. What's the plan? Who the hell am I supposed to know? You're the leader. You're supposed to be decisive. And I've decided that you should eat a big bag of dicks. If this whole beach was completely covered in dicks, and somebody said I'd eat every dick until the beach was clean for liberty, I would say no problem. Why would someone put penises all over the beach? Who knows why madmen do what they do? It's gonna be fun. This is suicide. Yeah. Well, that's kind of our thing. Oh, that, I love that shot. Oh, wow, that was fun. I'm gonna get you out of here alive. I'm going to get you out of here alive. <gasps> oh my god, we've got a freaking kaiju up in this shit! What is that? I love the rain. But angels are floating all over us. <laughs> August 6, HBO Max. Okay. Woo! A lot to talk about. So let's jump right into the review. Okay, so um what did I think about the trailer? I think it was fun. I see a little bit of the aspects of Guardians of the Galaxy here. Personally, with the song choice, I think it's I, I'm really excited to see a soundtrack of the Suicide Squad. I hope it's not the same as the Guardians of the Galaxy, you know, 80s or I don't know if it was 90s rock songs. I don't know. But um, I personally would have loved a better soundtrack on the trailer. But to be honest, I think um, I, I love that Carly is not the center of attention. I, I, I love that we are going to have a lot of interaction between the characters and many people are going to are gonna enjoy more other characters than the actual characters that we have seen before um i i don't know i think i love king shark i think um you know oh, i forgot um king shark it's you know he has been part of the suicide squad for a while now i think he was i think he was on the on the animated movie I love the animated movie of the Suicide Squad, by the way. If you haven't seen the movie, you should go and check it out because it is really, really fun. And uh, I believe that Sylvester Stallone is going to be the voice of King Shark. 
uh, so that's gonna be fun. Um, I'm seeing, you know, a lot of a lot of personalities here. So I don't know, I don't know um, what what will happen. I don't know what we will see. Apparently, you know, I think they're on the Dominican Republic. Like this, the mission is on the Dominican Republic, and I love the aspect that they were trying to save Harley, but she saved herself. <laughs> I love, I love that. I love that. So um, I don't know. I think I see. A lot of more interaction here and, and a lot of more fresh interaction than the actual Suicide Squad. So sorry David Ayer, but again, it is important to have a good director direct this type of um, blockbuster movies just because it deals with a lot of talent and you don't want to miss a lot of them, uh, but you want to, you know, give them a certain importance to each and every one of them so um truly excited about it very very excited uh, i can't wait to see harley again with her original colors uh i i love i love the the i one of my favorite colors, colors is black but also red so for me it is really really fun to see her finally with the actual colors and also the uh, the, the costumes are not like very sexualized that I, I i really like that from here and also from justice league i think the uh, costumes as wonder woman and uh, the, Ma the amazons were really really well done so i just can't wait i just can't wait so thank you guys for watching and let me know what else do you want me to react to or review and i will see you very very soon bye guys